So the other morning, I loaded up Slick Deals, which if you've never heard of it before, it is a god-awful website. Don't ever visit slickdeals.com. Is it slickdeals.com or slickdeals.net? It's slickdeals.net. Anyways, I woke up that morning, started browsing Slick Deals, and they were like, hey, guess what? Amazon Warehouse is running their 20% off deal again. For those of you who don't know, Amazon Warehouse is basically a section of Amazon where they just sell specifically used items, where customers buy something, they completely regret it, and they try to send it back, or they accidentally broke something and was like, yeah, geez, I don't, I, I, I should try to get my money back, so let me just <laughs> send it back to Amazon. So then Amazon receives the package, kind of re-examines everything, and it's like, hey, it looks good. We can probably still resell this and kind of discount it a little bit and put it up on Amazon Warehouse. And from time to time, usually around Black Friday deal or even on Amazon Prime Day, they would run an additional 20% discount on select warehouse items. And of course, me being a massive gearhead, I go through every single page and see what Amazon has to offer. But first, I type in Sony and see what they got. And lo and behold, the first thing Thing that popped up was a Sony A7R4. And I was like, you know what? Let's see how much, let's see how much it is with the discount. So I click add to cart. Usually they'll have a used price, and on the bottom of it, in tiny little text, it'll say 20% off discount taken at checkout. And I don't like doing math, so I click add to cart just to find out how much the final pricing is. Just for reference, a brand new Sony A7R Mark IV costs $3,497.98. So the used pricing is $3,190. With a 20% off discount, it becomes $2,552. With tax and everything, the grand total becomes 2,807 bucks. And I was like, hey, that's not too bad. But I didn't check out yet. I didn't check out yet. I kind of let it simmer in my brain first. I'm like, do I really need this? This is a fantastic price for the Sony a7R 4 So I double back and check the condition of the Sony a7R 4 Used, like new, item will come in original packaging. Packaging will be damaged. Now it did say it was broken. It didn't say there were any scuffs on the camera. And if anything, they have a pretty good return policy. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me go ahead and check out what you have on the rest of the website first before making my purchase on the Sony. Too late, already check out, already bought the camera. Damn it, Amazon, why did you make the checkout process so easy? Two days shipping to, oh my God. It was still very painful to have to wait two days for the camera to come in. I know, we're incredibly spoiled in this day and age. So I was trying to justify this purchase with Vivian, but she's not really having it. So I decided to take it to the internet and try to justify it with you guys. So hopefully you guys can understand my plight when I was getting the camera. So in the video where I talked about not getting the Sony a7R 4 I mentioned that several camera sites were running this really good EDU discount on the Sony a7R 4 during Black Friday, where you can get the camera for a thousand bucks off. And I can still pass off as a college student, thank goodness for my young Asian genes. And I think my college email is still active. But I was in Japan around that time during Black Friday and I was like, nah, I don't need it. I don't need to get it. Stupid move, completely stupid move because they did not run that deal again. So I was like, ah, I missed it. I should have just bought the damn camera. That was legitimately the one condition that I had if I were to get the Sony a7R for was uh, if I could get it for about a thousand dollars off. And lo and behold, I was able to get a relatively similar price, be it that I have to pay just a little extra more because of taxes. Damn it, Uncle Sam. So how funny would it be if I unbox this A7R 4 but totally get a different camera? <laughs> uh, no, no, that wouldn't be funny. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, there are some horror stories floating around Facebook that someone got like an expensive A9 or something and they totally ended up with like a crappy Canon SL2, which is like a pretty cheap $300 Canon camera. Oh, A7R4. Look at that, they can't even put the sticker upright. I'm having doubts already. Still got all of the original paperwork, so that's a positive sign. Okay. All right, still in its wrapping. Sony a7R4, yes, Sony a7R4, 
Woo! Wow, it still looks brand spanking new. Holy cow. I think whoever got this didn't really take it out of the box because the strap is still intact right here. You can even see the little wrapping. Comes with a charger, charger cable, all of the, uh, Oh, here we go. Woo, okay, we got everything in the box. Just ever so carefully. No residue, don't leave any residue, don't leave any residue. Yes! So now I can sell this in the future and the next owner doesn't have to know I bought it from Amazon Warehouse. <laughs> and don't tell him. All right, moving on. Pop the camera in and make sure everything works. Wow, look at that, it was reinitialized. Looks like everything is in pristine condition. Doesn't look like anything is wrong with it. So yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this Sony a7R4. I don't see any scratches, no dings, no nothing. The screen looks perfectly fine and the sensor looks great as well. Of course, I'm gonna have to take this out and really test it out and see if there's anything wrong. And good thing Amazon Warehouse has 30 day return policy. So if anything is wrong with the camera, they make returns super, super easy, so nothing to worry about. Sweet, I saved about a thousand dollars. So I know there are some of you out there who are watching that are really adverse to buying used gear and I completely understand. Dropping a thousand or a couple thousand dollars on a used camera equipment just to take a chance on it being either broken or completely swapped out with a different camera gear can be very scary. For me, whenever I can, if I can save on some money, I would try to go for used gear just because I can save quite a bit of money that way. And for the past 10 years of buying used gear, I haven't had a single terrible experience yet. When it comes to buying used gear for me, I try to buy from the more reputable sites like Amazon, B&H. And in Japan, there is a used camera store that I frequent a lot and I bought a lot of my Sony APS-C lenses from. If you want more information on buying used gear in Japan, check out my guide right up here. I keep forgetting where to point. Anyways, if you're in the States, you're looking to buy used gear, I would say try to buy it from Adorama or B&H. There is at least a much higher assurance that you're not getting scammed because these are reputable camera sites. But on Amazon, I did hear there were a couple of flukes. There were some people who were reporting that they were getting an entirely different camera from what they order, and that can definitely happen. But I mean, if you're Amazon and you're literally selling every single thing that exists on this planet, obviously there are certain items that might go over quality control. But again, Amazon does have a pretty good return policy, so should anything like that happen, ideally you should be able to return it. I haven't had a bad experience yet, but if I do, I'll let you know. And buying used camera gear on eBay should be okay too. They have a buyer's protection, so in case you do end up with something that's broken, that is completely off from what was described on the listing, you can get your money back. With sites like Craigslist and Facebook, that's on the iffy territory. Again, I haven't had any terrible experience on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, although there was one time that I almost got scammed, but good thing I listened to my gut feeling and that didn't happen. But someone else who was using that same scamming method that the scammer was trying to scam me with successfully walked off with a couple thousand dollar cameras. There's an article that I'll link in the description box below. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you or anything, but uh, when it comes to buying things on Facebook or Craigslist, my advice would be only buy something that may not cost too much money. That, or at least when it comes to buying something used, have some knowledge of the product so you can test it out before you give money to this person. So let's say a used camera, for example, you're trying to buy a Sony a7R 4 but you've owned the Sony a7R 2 or the a7R 3 You kind of have some knowledge as to how the camera works. You can probably check the sensor. You can probably test all the buttons and functions and features so you know if the camera checks out or not. Oh, speaking of Sony a7R, my first Sony camera ever was a Sony a7R Mark II and I bought it used from Newegg. Come to think of it, I think I saved about $1,000 on that camera too. Oh man, this just brings me back. I remember I was so excited to pick up the camera that I literally drove to the Newegg warehouse and picked up my camera and I was, 
Oh, I was super excited that day. But yeah, again, for more reputable sites, there shouldn't be any issue. You don't have to worry too much about it when it comes to buying used gear from the more reputable stores. Anyways, I can do a whole video talking about how to buy used gear and what to look out for and also the safety of buying used gear. And if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I think this video is kind of all over the place. I don't know how we ended up here, but yeah. Just letting you know, I got the Sony A7R Mark IV. Guys, thank you so much for watching, but before you go... So I've been using Squarespace for about three years now, and what keeps me coming back is the ease of use. It is an all-in-one platform to create beautiful and clean websites. No coding knowledge is required thanks to the easy-to-use templates. For 2020, Vivian and I will be adding additional photography and videography resources to our website, so definitely stay tuned to see our progress and our announcement. For now, you can try Squarespace yourself. Whether it's a photo portfolio website you can send to your client or an e-commerce for your products, design it with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash Jason Vong to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thanks for listening to this message. It does really help my channel out a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.